In this video, we are going to continue with derivatives of natural logarithmic functions. You will find this on page 484 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Differentiate the function fx equals lin and now in brackets ax plus b. So it's now not just lin x, it's this more in the bracket. So if we use the chain rule to differentiate this, we make the inside this, we make u, okay, and then we say y equals lin u. Then we differentiate this, so dy by du and du by dx. So this is 1 over u and this is only a. That is a constant, so it becomes 0. If we multiply it, it is a over u, and if we replace u, actually it's just becoming a. So what is a? a is the value in front of x. So that value in front of x, that is on top, and then I just basically rewrite the bracket. Okay, but let's first look at a few examples. So if I ask you to differentiate this, so this is equal to 3 over 3x minus 4. Okay, so basically I'm just taking the value in front of x and I just rewrite the bracket. Easy. If I do this one, I can again do it on two ways. I can use the chain rule. Now remember, if I say du, okay, first get it like this, du by dx, then it's a half and I subtract 1. Because remember, it's, it's, it's again actually... Uh, it's following the chain rule again. Why do I say that? Let me show you. Because if you take it out, it's 4 minus x and it's to a half. Then it's actually, this, the, it's just the short way of the chain rule. So it's the half, I, re I subtract 1 and I multiply with what's inside the bracket. Okay, and then I get this. And if I multiply, I'm basically that u, I just rewrite the bracket, I multiply, I get this. If I use logs, and I think maybe this looks easier, so it's half, and then if I differentiate, if I differentiate, it's a half, and then it is, if I differentiate, it's negative 1, and I rewrite the bracket, and it's exactly the same. Okay, so you can decide which method will be the best for you. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A, and I want to see which one can I also give you. Um, I want you to do B, because it's a, no, let's, let's give B, and let's do C, and then I want you to do E and F. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Number A. So lin 2x minus 1. If I'm going to differentiate, this is just, okay, let's just, this is, so. Uh, I think if I rewrite it, sorry, I want to rewrite it as d over dx and then basically just, okay, so then it's what's in front of x, so 2 and I just rewrite the bracket. 2x minus 1. Now that you can do if there's a 1, then it's easy. If there's something else, then you have to do it either on the locks or on the chain rule. Like in number C. Okay, so if I write down number C, it is, okay, let's say d over dx, and then it's going to be lin. x plus 7 to the power of a half. Okay. Okay. And if I'm going to differentiate this one now, I'm just going to say, I'm going to make use of logs, so I'm going to say a half lin x plus 7. Okay, I just rearrange it. So, if I differentiate, then I'm going to say dy by dx equals a half, and now follow, but there's just a 1 in front, so that's actually nice. It's 1 over x plus 7. 
and that will give me then that 1 over 2x plus 7 or 2x plus 14. Okay, let's do number E. I'm going to write it as y equals lin 2 plus square root x square because I'm going to use the chain rule. So I'm going to just have y, and I want to show you, make this u. So I have y is equal to lin u square and u is equal to 2 plus x. If I then differentiate dy by du, and I forgot, put this, do it first like this, put it in front, the laws of um, logarithms, then it's 2 over, not x, but over u, because it's going to be 2 multiply 1 over u, which is 2 over u. And then this one, I just rewrite this quickly as to a half, so du by dx, this is a constant, 0, so this is a half, x, and this is negative a half, and that is 1 over 2x to the power of a half. Okay, and if I now multiply dy by dx, by multiplying this 2, then I'm going to get 2 over u, multiply 1 over 2, and there is the x. Now, I, I, I replaced the u, so it's 2 over, and what was u? It was 2 plus square root x, multiply 1 over 2 square root x. Oh, come on. And if I simplify this, it's just going to be 2 over, now I want to show you, put that in front, put this in brackets. Okay, so the 2's then cancel out. I just want to move up. Then I have 1 over, and I can leave it, square root x. I just want to show you if I, what happens if I multiply it in. So if I multiply it in, move up still a little bit, it will be 1 over 2 square root x, and square root x times square root x is a half plus a half. It will just be x. And that will be my final answer. Okay, with the chain rule. Let's do the next one. I think we're also going to use the chain rule. But let's first rewrite it down, and then make the decision. Okay, let's look at number f. I'm going to write it again as y equals lin 5x minus lin x. So if I break it up, because I want to use the chain rule again, remember that this will be u. Lin u and u is equal to 5x minus lin x. X. So then I will have dy by du equals 1 over u and du by dx is equal to 5 minus 1 over x. Just make sure that if this a year I differentiate to x, year I differentiate to u so that you don't get confused and make unnecessary mistakes there. So if I multiply this two with each other, the du's will cancel out. So dy by dx is equal to 1 over, okay, and now I'm going to find, substitute u back, okay, now if I'm, leave, first leave it like this, okay, now to simplify this, I'm going to make this first one term, so I'm going to say 1 over 5x minus lin x multiply, now if I put this over 1 and I times x times x, I'm going to get 5x minus 1 over x. Okay, so basically if I multiply this on this, so it's going to be 
So let's just go and going to look. It's going to be 5x minus 1 over x, 5x minus lin x. And there it is in the simplest form.